What's going on guys and welcome to Final Nights 4. This is the brand new Final Nights game and as you guys know the demo for it is supposed to be coming out on Halloween day but Jelly Liam was kind enough to send me the demo a few days early so first of all I want to say a huge thank you to him. I really appreciate it and of course if you guys want this to become a full series be sure to drop a like on the video down below and of course drop a comment saying Final Nights if you guys want another video on this tomorrow depending on how long this demo really is because I don't really know and of course if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more Final Nights Freddy's content because there's going to be a lot more coming to the channel channel but oh man look at these animatronics on the side Fredbear and spring body that is so crazy their lights are like or their eyes are all lit up oh my that looks so cool all right let's go ahead and hit play and get into this oh this is awesome so far I Max Donovan have previously stated in an earlier post the mystery of Fredbear is the very interesting one not much seems to be oh, known. that's from the teaser but uh, I think I got a good lead so far a couple of days ago I sent something in the mail and I was told what was inside may be of interest to me. Finally, after sorting out all the rest of the junk mail I got, I opened this one, and to my pleasure, saw some very intriguing things inside. On the outside was a note that said, This once belonged to my grandfather who worked at Fredbear's. He disappeared soon after, and this was all that was left of him. New information is always great, and it's even better with a story attached. I rubbed inside the letter, and to my amazement, I found a key to the entrance of Fredbear's family diner. I'm thinking that the person's grandfather may have worked here as a night guard or something, but the chip attached to the key. As of right now, I am planning on visiting the old establishment soon, and see what I can do with what was sent to me. If anyone has any clues to who this grandfather character is, leave a reply below. I really am interested in knowing who this person is, really. Max Donovan. Paranormal investigator. That is the teaser that we saw. Max Donovan. Okay, so investigation one. Oh, so instead of nights, it's like investigations. This is it. What? Where it all started. Oh, you can click to... What? This is cool. It seems like the Walking Dead kind of in a way. Wait, let's go back. Oh, we're outside of Fredbear's family diner. Oh, this is cool. Oh, there's the key investigation. Okay, we can't. Oh, I got whatever that is. I think it was a flashlight. So we got a little bag here. Nothing else I can click. You guys can't see my mouse cursor, but I'm like going over stuff. So I guess I guess I'll get the key and the flashlight. It looks like. Can I check anything out here? Here's our backpack. Okay, so what is nope. this? That won't work. Nope. That won't work. I'm not sure what he's wanting to work, but okay, this is really cool how he did this so far, though. All right, let's go ahead and go inside. I think we have the key now. Looks so. like the key I got would be useful right now. All right, so let me see if I can go ahead and use it. There we go. Let's go ahead and get in. Oh, this is awesome. The puppets like the attention. Oh, I can read it. Dang it. All right, let's see. Is there anything I can... Oh, I can go right or I can go straight. I guess let's go right. Sure. Why well, go uh, the straight path? You know, you got to take a right turn sometimes. So we, we can either go back out. There's a vent you can't go to. We can go to the right, though. This must be the desk from the teaser. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Anything I can interact with in here? Oh, okay, now it doesn't seem like there's anything I can really do in here, unfortunately. I do have whatever this is still- I think it's a flashlight, I want to say. Oh, I just said it. Okay, maybe it wasn't. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a key down there. I got it. Alright, cool, so let's go ahead and get out of here now. I wonder where we can use that key on. We probably need it for down here. Oh, there's a locked door. Alright, well, I guess let's see if we can use it here. Sure, why not? And there we go. Oh, what is this? valve room that's outside for some reason i think you can use this flashlight on every room nope. oh no you can't work. i was hoping that maybe if you use it on every room it would light up like a certain area that would reveal a secret oh wait i wasn't finished exploring there hold on i gotta go back in this strangely enough reminds me of like resident evil or dino crisis it's really weird let me see if there's something i can click in here i feel like there's something i'm oh there we go the thing right in front of my face <laughs> that makes sense all right so we turn that valve whatever that does all right, now how do I get out of here? Okay, I guess we gotta go back. Uh, we gotta go back again. All right, so we unlocked that door. We got a valve turned. I'm guessing it was something up here that... Oh, crap, what are you doing? What the... I'm not going over... I, I, can't, I have to go that way. Are you kidding me? What is he doing? He's just dancing creepily. That's so unnatural. Oh, I keep wanting to see, see what it says there. Oh, no, no. What on earth? Okay, uh, now what? I can't do anything. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh! What is this? Oh, what are you doing? Hello? 
I, I don't know what's happening right now. What is going on? I can move that. I can shine my light. I can't leave, though. I'm, like, stuck here. Is this supposed to happen? I really wish I could see whatever that loading menu thing was. Maybe he wants to come out? <laughs> Maybe I should let him out. I don't know. I didn't get to see what the loading screen thing said, so I have no idea. Maybe I'm gonna try pressing the arrow keys, getting out of here somehow. No. I'm gonna leave it open. No, you can't leave it open. Oh, there he is. Okay, what does that mean? Do I do I want it? Oh! I died. Okay. Um that was supposed to happen? No, that wasn't supposed to game over. I don't understand what that was. There I don't okay, I guess we're gonna go back in. Okay, so it starts me here again. I don't understand what it wants me to do. I wish it would have told me or something. So, do I just have to keep shining my light on him when he appears? I, I guess I'm gonna keep trying that. There he is right there. Wait, let's see what happens if I just don't do anything and I just let him out, I guess, basically. Okay, he went back under. Huh. I can't move that. Like, I, I was thinking maybe he had to move that curtain or something, but no, that doesn't do anything. There he is right there. Okay, so a puppet came out. I don't know what good that's gonna do me. I think my best option here is to like go back and read the loading screen, but I can't. <laughs> like I'm gonna have to pause the video and like pause it at that that second while it's loading. Let's just keep waiting. Oh, oh, he was just about to do something. Crap. I don't know what he was about to do though. That's the only problem. All right, let, let's let him do his thing here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch him at all. Let's see if he kills me if he comes all the way out, which that's kind of what he just did. So I don't <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, there's the okay. There he is. All right. Hello. Are you gonna kill me? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he killed me. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. All right, guys, give me one second. I'm gonna go back and pause it on that screen so I can see whatever that tip that that it was giving me says. Why include like a? All right, guys. So I went back. It says the puppet likes attention, but he doesn't like to be seen. So. I'm guessing that there he is right there. So oh, okay, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so random. I don't know what to do. I feel like I missed the instructions or something. I I must have missed something because I feel like he wouldn't just throw you in like this and just expect you to be like, hey, good luck. <laughs> You'll figure it out, bro. You'll figure it out. All right, here we go. Let's wait. All right, so uh, I <sighs> he appeared on the right side like that. Do I not? Look at him? Do I shine the light? Last time I touched the curtain and he killed me, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> so he doesn't like to be seen. Maybe he thinks because he's in that curtain I can't see him. So I <laughs> I don't know what to do. There he is again. There he is. I'm not I'm not touching the curtain, bro. Last time I touched it, you killed me. I'm not doing it. I don't think so. You can go there all you want. I'm not doing it. Alright, so he seems to have backed off for now. Let's keep waiting. Uh, I'm guessing the puppet's gonna appear on the left. Okay, so let's shine our light on him. Because as long as the puppet's not there, we can do that. So if he's on the left side, I don't wanna shine my light on him. Instead, I wanna open up the curtain on the right. I think. I think that's what he wants us to do here. So we seem to be doing okay so far. Let's just keep going. Okay, there he is. That's not the puppet. You're not the puppet. That was not, I saw him at the bottom, but that doesn't count, right? Okay, we're good. We're good. No one panic, all right? It's cool, it's cool. All right, so still no sign of him. Come on, go ahead and appear again. There he is, left side. So I'm going to shine my light on the left. I don't know if that's actually doing anything, but, I mean, it doesn't seem to be getting me killed, so I'm just going to keep doing that. All right, now he seems to be gone again. There he is right there. What does that mean? Is it... Oh, crap. I don't think I was supposed to do anything. I am think I'm dead. Am I dead? I'm not dead. Okay. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea. It seems to be working though. I haven't died yet. I have not died. So it's okay guys. We're doing something right. I think. Okay. Shine the light on him. So is this like a night? It's so weird because I can't tell if I'm doing something wrong. That's why it's not moving forward. Or if this is actually part of the game that he wants me to beat before going forward. So I don't know. Let's just keep doing whatever this is and hoping for the best. Hopefully we'll eventually get past this part. Okay. There he is again. Left side. Okay. Cool. We seem to be doing okay. I feel like maybe we have to let them come up and like give us a show, but without the puppet being here. Uh, that's what I'm kind of guessing at here, but I don't know. All right, so he's he's been showing up on the left quite often here. There's the puppet. So I think you open up that side. You don't want to shine your light there because obviously if we do, that'll be us seeing him and he does not want to be seen. There he is again. Not going to shine my light. 
He seems to go away though whenever I open up the curtain, so I guess that's the right thing to do there. Okay, no, we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that we don't see him right there. All right, we're doing okay. Everything's fine so far. Oh, shine that light. There we go. I think if we don't shine the light on the one on the left, then that's when he kills us. He also seems to be attacking a lot faster now, so I'm guessing we're doing something right here. So I'm just going to keep it up and hope for the best here, really. That's all I can do in this situation is just hope. Hope that I'm doing everything correct that I'm supposed to be doing. All right, so let's just keep waiting. There's that guy again. All right, left side. It's weird, though, that this is, like, in the game. Like, it feels so... Oh! Okay, that was on per Okay, so we did it right. We did it. Night one. Okay, whatever we just did right there was what we were supposed to do. That was just the intro, too. That was weird, though, to be honest. All right, well, we got a phone call. Hello there, new night guard, and welcome to my establishment. Oh. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Henry. I'll give you the quick rundown on how the animatronics and the building systems you requested actually function. First up, you have your cameras up front. Activate them by pressing space on the keyboard in front of you. Oh. You can press S to exit back out. I took the liberty to go into some state-of-the-art tech for us here. And there's straight up the your fingers, locations uh -oh. with invisible lasers. Pretty fancy stuff. Anyway, touch a on your buttons to switch cameras. Any room with a green triangle can be selected. Even the vents. Now, you also have your alarm and air Oops. refresh buttons. For now, you'll only need the alarm. Pressing it will signal a bright, loud, and red alarm to ring in whatever room you have selected on the camera. You can ring the alarm near your office by using the left shift key. And now, on to your animatronic buddies, courtesy of me, of course. Oh! He's moving! Fred Bear is up first. I get the role of power management, basically. If he knows the lack of people, he will go into different rooms and try and find guests or staff members. And if he decides the place is completely empty, He'll shut off the power. Not something you want now, is it? Oh! Now, all you have to do is lead him to you. He'll go after any noise, so whenever he's taking a break to take in any sounds or signals, try ringing the alarms in nearby rooms and leading him towards you a couple of times. Leading Once he's me. close enough, say, party room one, then ring the alarm near your office. That's a shift key, remember? Bonnie, however, is a bit of a different beast. He'll wander around looking for intruders. Normally, if you wear your guard uniform, you'll be a chip inside and not register you as an intruder. However, you didn't exactly fit the last guard's uniform, so until you can tailor yourself a new one, just try to avoid any contact with him. But if he does manage to enter your office, try and stay completely still. One of his parameters for checking someone's human is if it moves. Thusly, if you stay completely still, he probably won't register you as a human and thus not as an intruder all right hope you got all that good luck and i'll see you tomorrow oh okay uh i don't fully understand what to do he was in party room one i'm doing the alarm over here but he did he never came so i don't i don't know oh there they both are crap okay so do i want him to come back to party room one i don't really understand fredbear what's happening what's happening oh uh, what am I supposed to do again? I don't... Uh, was that supposed to happen? Was I supposed to do that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. <laughs> Whatever, it worked. I don't know. Where is the other guy at? Where the heck is Bonnie? He doesn't seem to be anywhere near me, so I don't... I don't know. Alright, so wait. Where, where am I at, actually? Okay, I'm right there. Oh, crap. Who's that? Leave the cameras. Okay, I don't see him yet. I think we're doing okay. I'm worried that he's gonna come though. I don't know where he is. Where is he? Oh god, this is scary. Alright, uh... I can't- it's weird that he can only check certain cameras too. I don't see him. I feel like he's gonna- he's on his way here or something. Because I do not see him at all. Let's just keep trying to get that guy to that room. I feel like for this guy, you really just gotta keep looking to the right, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if he's going to come from the vent or what. If he comes from the vent, that's going to be scary. Oh, God. Who's that? Oh, crap. Don't move. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Oh, my God. Oh. Why? Why are you so close? It's okay. I'm not moving. What the heck? What is he doing? He's leaving. Okay. I, I guess that's supposed to happen. 
I don't know when I'm allowed to move, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. Okay, he's gone now. Okay, uh, I guess I did something right there. Where'd he go, though? I wish you could check all the cameras. It would make it so much less scary. But only being able to check, like, a few. Wait, who's on the stage right now? Oh, Fred, what's he doing back on the stage? Oh, so only when he moves do I have to do the alarm. Alarm. So does that mean that he's heading back to the... Oh, my God, I have the hiccups. Does that mean he's heading back to the stage right now? I think so. Oh, what's going on in that room? Yeah, I think he's actually walking back to the stage. Oh, crap. Fred Bear's moving. All right, let's go ahead and do this alarm. Let's try to get him to the room that we need him to be at. Okay, yeah. He's heading back there. So that means that... Okay, so when they attack, they head back to that room. All right, that makes sense. Why does that... Why does that keep happening? Like, the screen keeps turning off. I don't know why. It's scaring me, though. All right, where did he go? He's he's completely... Oh, there he is. All right, now we want to get him to this room right here. He's going... He's moving close to it. So I think we almost have him. I'm going to keep doing the alarm here. Where'd he go? Crap. Oh, there he is right there. Okay, I think he's coming into party room one right now. Is he... I don't see him. Let's check back. Okay, Spring Bonnie's still there. Where is... Where is he? I don't know where he is. Crap. Uh, there he is. Okay, I think he's going there right now. I'm going to keep doing the alarm. It looks like we're okay. How long are these nights, though? It seems like it's a really long time. All right, now we got to do the alarm in our office. If I'm not mistaken, that's when we have to do that. He seems to be still sitting there, though. I don't fully understand how anything works, but it seems like whatever we're doing right now is, is okay. Like, it seems to be doing everything fine. Oh, he's running. He's running. I think he's running to the office right now. I think. Oh, God. Is he running here? Is he? I don't know. <laughs> Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, here he comes. Okay, that's Fredbear. Okay, yeah, so he's here. I, I don't fully understand why he has to come here, but he's here. That's I think that's correct. Hopefully, we won't die right now. Okay, he's leaving. There we go. I, I don't know if we have to stand still for him, but... Oh, no! I did not mean to do that. Crap. Crap. I did not mean to press the alarm. Oh, no. Please tell me he's heading back. Okay, he's heading back. Oh. All right, we're good. Now, where is... Okay, so Spring Bonnie's all the way back there. Where is there a time rat? Oh, it's 5 a.m. All right, so I'm guessing we're going to get attacked one more time, maybe? Where's the puppet at, too? It's strange. We haven't seen him yet. I'm going to see if I can find him. Oh, there's still those two animatronics, too. There's the prize corner. Kitchen. No, no sign of them there. All right, there's that. Uh, looks like we're doing okay, though. I think we're going to be able to beat this first night. Oh, what's that? Okay, I don't know why that happens. Oh, Spring Bonnie's coming. Okay, so... Oh, they're stuck on each other. That's a bit of a problem. They're stuck inside of each other. There he goes. Oh, so, okay. He kind of predicted that. He's like, okay, they're probably going to get stuck on each other. So, I'll just have them teleport to the stage. Now, my one question is, what's stopping me from just sitting here now? Because we know Fredbear is not going to move again. Because, it, I don't, actually, I don't know that. But, I mean, I have a feeling you can just kind of sit here. He's not moving. So, really, I could sit here like this, wait for Spring Bonnie... And then that's it. Whenever he appears, then go for Fredbear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this. Let's see if it'll actually work here. I'm not going to move. Actually, I should. You know what? I'll check for him. Okay, no, Fredbear's still there. The night should be ending literally any second. I'm just going to hope for the best here. I'm going to sit here, stare ahead. I'm guessing Springwine is going to attack one more time before the night ends here. But we'll see. Come on. Where you at, bro? Where you at? Looks like we're doing okay. Come on in. Come on. Oh, there it is. 6 a.m. All right. Well, that's the first night done. Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. It's a one-night demo. Thank you for playing the fi or Final Nights 4 demo. It has been a blast developing the game so far, and while facing many struggles and redos of the game, I can't thank the team uh, enough. There they all are. There's the team. Feel free to replay and find any secrets. Okay. I, I thought it was going to be like two nights or something, but still, I mean, that's, that's a demo for sure. Just one night. All right. Well, I mean, so far, that was cool. It was... Now, this is the one thing I'm worried about with this game. And I, I said this about the last game and the game before that, I think, too. I hope he doesn't make it overly difficult. Because, like, Final Nights, I want to say 3, it was so hard for a lot of YouTubers. Like, I, obviously, I talked to other YouTubers. And a lot of them, if you notice, never did the uh, the 6th night, I think it was. I think I got to the 5th. And then the 6th night is when I kind of just gave up. And a lot of us didn't do that night because it was just too hard. Like, for instance, with uh, the Joy of Creation, 
That game was insanely hard. A lot of people skipped out on that game because it was so difficult. Now, I luckily didn't give up on the game. I kept going. I beat the game. But I'm just, I'm really worried that this game is going to end up being like the third one where it's ridiculously hard. And I'm just probably not even going to beat the whole thing. I don't know how hard it's going to be, like I said. But if it's anything like that first night, that first night was fun. It was enjoyable. It was simple. You know, you just got to check Fredbear. You got to check Spring Bonnie whenever they're moving. You got to just, you know, obviously watch out for them. And, uh, yeah, it was just a lot of fun. But obviously, like I said, that's only the first night. There's still going to be, you know, four, possibly five, possibly six more nights after that. So there's a lot more to do. Now, I understand the game has to be hard, but I'm just, like I'm saying, I'm just hoping it's not impossible, <laughs> like next to impossible. I'm hoping, you know, I, I, I enjoy just a nice, calm fan game that's just fun to play through. I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that way, but I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. Would you rather this game be extremely hard or, you know, just normal? You know, just an enjoyable time. That's why I feel like a lot of fan games should have difficulties. You know, easy, medium, hard, and extreme. So for the people that want that extreme challenge, they can select that. But for people that like me that just want a normal challenge, you know, just put it on normal. <laughs> and then the people that are really bad at fan games, put it on easy. You know, that kind of thing. So I'm just, I'm worried that the game can come out like the third one, but I'm hopeful that it'll still be a blast to play through. And of course, if you guys want to see a full series, like I said, don't forget to drop a like on the video down below. Drop a comment saying final, if you made it all the way to the final part of the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.